Dying Light 2 on the Lenovo Legion Go with FSR 3.0 frame generation mod. Let's go. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Dying Light 2 on my Lenovo Legion Go. And I'll break this video into three parts. The first part, I'm going to play the game natively, like without any mods. And then um, I'm going to show you how to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. Here's a new method. It's uh, it's called Uniscaler and it's on preview 2 right now. That's the latest version. I'll show you how to install that. I think it's easier and it works well with this game because previously I used the other version. Um, I used the FSR 2, FSR 3 version of the mod and I used 0.10.3 and that didn't work. Like it worked, but um, I had UI flickering. And now with the new method, Uniscaler, it works perfectly. So that's what I'm going to show you. And then finally, I'm going to show you the game with the mod on. So let's take a look at the game options right now. So video, uh, the quality is set to low quality. And then windowed borderless. Okay, resolution is um, 1920 by 1200. It should be the same as your um, Legion Go. All right. So I set it to the same. If you don't set it to the same, I find that like you have a double image. So if you have that, make sure the resolution is set. The in-game setting and your Legion Go setting is the same. And I don't think I can go 144 hertz because I'm on a capture card. Yep, that's right. Okay. And then... Um, Let's see, upscaler mode, I set it to FSR2 quality. Okay, and then uh, motion blur, I turned it off. That's, that's it. Okay, and let's play a bit of it. I'm not really a fan of this game. It's, it's, it's a scary game. Like the zombies jump on you and then they're like, rrr, rrr, rrr. like it's pretty scary. It's pretty intense. Um, yeah, I'm not only doing it for you guys. I haven't played very far in this game. Yeah, just doing it for you guys. So if you guys enjoy this type of game, please hit the thumbs up button. Like this video. I'm not really enjoying this game. It's scary. Okay. So you can see I get like 40-ish 50 frames with FSR 2.2 quality. And sometimes it dips a bit. But uh, mostly like 40-ish. See what I mean by this game is like intense, man. You're just running around and these zombies are chasing you and they're like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Yeah, the sound. Maybe you could turn off the sound. <laughs> It'll be less frightening. Your heart just pumps. And I'll play this game. Okay. I just chopped the heads off. Yeah, it's pretty violent. All right, so let's uh, quit. Let's quit. And I'll show you how to install the mod. I think that's what you want to see. Uh, this doesn't work on the Steam Deck. I'm not sure. I haven't tried the Uniscaler, so the new version, I haven't tried it, but I did try the old version, 0.10.3, and it didn't work. When you turn on frame generation, the game just crashes. Okay, so in order for the mod to work, you need to go to video, like go to your settings, go to video first, and then press the X button to go to advanced video settings. Okay, and you have to set the render mode you have to set it to this d3d12 ultimate ray tracing all right because it needs to be on direct x12 and then press the r3 button save it and it needs to restart okay so this is the first thing you need to do else if you install the mod and you don't have this set it's gonna crash it won't boot up so that's the first thing you need to do and then the second thing is you just quit out of the game and we're going to install the mod files and I'll show you how to do that. 
Yeah, so the game's reset it. Let's just double check that it's working with like uh, DirectX 12. Okay, so let's go back to options, video, press the X button. Yeah, it's on DirectX 12. Okay, that's fine. Let's just quit the game. Okay, now, once you're back on your Windows desktop, Okay, uh, look at your game folder. I have mine right here. So Dying Light 2. And inside this folder, there's a PH folder. Go inside it. And then Work. And then Bin. X64. This is where we're going to put our mod files. This is where you've got your EXE. Your game EXE. Okay, now let's go to your mods. I've got my mods here. Look FC mods. Okay, I'm going to go to Uniscaler. Right, and I'm going to use the latest version. It's currently preview 2. Okay, and then you've got a uniscalar.zip. Extract this. Uniscalar.asi. Extract it to the root, that the game, the game folder that I just showed you. And then common. Right, we're going to extract winmm.ini and winmm.dll. Extract it to the game folder as well. And then there's a Uniscalar folder in here. All right, I'm just going to extract both of these as well, these DLLs. Okay. And then... And then there's also this stub file. Okay. I'm going to extract this. NVNGX.DLL. Okay, extract it as well. And finally, finally, you need this dxgi.dll. I'll uh, give you a link to download this. This is a third party thing, I think. It's not from Luke FC. So you also need this file, else the game will crash. Okay, so once all that is done, we can just run the game again. You can see this is the mod window, Uniscalar Preview 2. Okay, and it's hooking up with the game. Okay, the game's booting up. So again, if you're liking this video, if this helps you out, please hit the thumbs up, like this video, it really helps out the channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so now let's go to options. Go back to video. Okay, so same thing. Windowed borderless resolution at 1920 by 1200. Okay, uh, VSync off. Upscaler still on FSR2 quality. And then we've got a frame generation toggle. Make sure this is on. This is because we've got the mod on. So we've got this now. And yeah, everything else is the same. Everything else is the same. I'm just going to save it. Press the R3 button. Save it. All right. Let's try it out again. Let's try the same area. And we're getting like 40-ish frames. Remember? Some dips. Like 20, 30s sometimes. But uh, yeah. Average around 40 frames, I think. And let's see if we get a performance boost. And also if see if we get the, any issues. Because like in the previous version of the mods, I've tried it. And it had... Uh, like the UI was flickering, had the HUD issues, artifacting, I don't know what you call it. Uh, that's very annoying. I don't really like that when I, when I play games. But unless it's really, really bad performance that I must use the performance mod. Okay, we're getting into the game soon. We're going to get scared. Okay, you see... Big dip there, but uh, that's okay. Oops. Yeah, you can see we get like 70 ish, 80 frames. All right, now it's the 60s, but I think uh, average you're getting like 70, 80. And there's like, so you see the UI, it's not flickering.
Okay, this game is so intense. My god, I can't jump up there. Okay, here it is. Oh, almost missed that. Okay, let me change. Okay, you can see, yeah, definitely a performance boost. And, you know, I don't feel any issues. I don't feel like there's any issues. Um, yeah, everything looks good. No flickering, uh, no input lag. The frame time is good. Like 12, 13 milliseconds. Uh, only thing bad is this game. <laughs> like, I don't like it. It's scary, man. It's a scary game. Look at these zombies, man. They're just chopping zombies. The hell? Do people really do enjoy these games? Okay, so you can see. Not bad. Um, let's see if we can... Um, get better graphics. So, video... Let's try, let's try high quality. Oh, there's no upscaling if it's high quality. Oh, I don't think we can do DLSS, so no, that's not a good option. Do you wish to save them? No. Um, I think we should go here and just set the textures like high. Yeah, I think you just mess around with this yourself because you don't want to mess up the upscale and stuff like that log quality high okay let's try this oh still not bad get like 50 or 60 Still not bad. Still the virals. Yeah, so if you want better graphics, you still get 50, 60 frames, which is pretty good for this game. All right, so yeah, I'll leave it here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And, you know, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. See you guys in the next one. Later.